Hello, beautiful community. I just want to speak a moment about what's going on in the world right now and this fear lens that is evolving so strongly right now with what's going on with, with the, the virus, the coronavirus. I don't know about you, but I have found myself asking like, am I crazy? Because I'm not too worried about this. I'm not panicking. I don't feel a sense of urgency to like go out and, and buy supplies. Um, is anyone else feeling that? Because I think that when people panic or when a, a community or a society or, or a leader um, of a community, an authority figure tells us we should be feeling a certain way and it doesn't resonate inside, we can feel a little crazy. Um, and there's a lot of chaos and a lot of energy going on around us that can make you doubt your, your sense of direction, your, your intuition, your, your, your gut feeling. Um, Those of you who are empathic beings, who are highly sensitive people, who can feel the feels going on around you, this can be such an overload right now. And fear is one of the scariest things to feel. That puts our brain into survival mode. It puts us into fight or flight um, or freeze. And it creates a constant um, energetic drain of our body and our mind and our it puts us into um, a state of being that is so difficult to to regulate to see rationalization to see logical thinking to to feel and to see that bigger picture that that everything's going to be okay I would encourage you during this time to, to really know that you are a high frequency energetic person. So those of you that feel the feels, that, that empathic energy, there's a reason. Because you have more mirror neurons than, than what maybe someone who is not so empathetic or empathic um, feels you are able to connect and feel those feels because that's a gift. And along with that, you are also able to be a presence for others, that your energy vibrates at a higher frequency, um, at a, a higher level where you can, where you can ground, where you can center, where you can find those places of calm, where you can call on your energy centers and your um, guides to, to be there to help support and to ground, which will shift your energetic vibration, which will shift your emotions, which will shift your lens of how you see yourself better, more how you see others and how you see the planet. When we are in a fear state, we see everything as a threat. We see everything in survival mode. And right now, where this could go is in a state of panic and chaos, and it does not need to be. Where we send our energy, and no matter what the outcome, we, we can do things that can logically make sense with the flu, right? You wash your hands, you, you practice good hygiene, you, um, you know, you can do those, those precautions. At the same time, we don't have to go in this state of, of panic and fight or flight where we lose sight of the bigger picture, where we lose sight of irrational and logical thinking, where we can see that, okay, you know, 
this is a flu. This is 99.7% curable. This is something we've been through before and we will get through again. We really have a choice right now of how we handle um, the situation, how we handle the environment we're in. And I believe all of us are in a place where we're supposed to be at this moment and this time in history because we do have an ability to be able to be a presence for others, be a grounding for others, especially the children, especially the children. And they may be a grounding for you if, if you tend to, you know, run a little higher. Um, they may be your grounding tool, but right now we have to be there for them. We have to show them, we have to be the role model for them to, to pause, to breathe, to let them know that everything's going to be okay. They're seeing this, the social media, they're hearing these things at school, they're, they're having, um, friends in their classes that are canceling vacations. Uh, for spring break or or places that they're going and and not really understanding and they're gonna get scared if the human beings around them that are supposed to be taking care of them are scared and fearful and in panic mode so be the light be the light for them that they need right now that the others around you need right now be the light that will help guide to help calm do your practice to center yourself, to ground yourself, to ground in your roots, to bring that life force energy up through you to your heart center, to allow your hand to rest on your heart center and just feel your breath and the rhythm of your breath under your hand and pause and be with your breath. When we allow our three-part breath to go when we allow ourselves to breathe and that deep three-part breath with the whole torso down to the abdomen down to the diaphragm and back up again it sends blood flow to the prefrontal cortex to these thinking parts of our brain that allow us to be in rest and digest and out of fight or flight away from the amygdala away from the 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 fears the the worries the self-doubts i've had so many self-doubts about am i crazy because i'm not worried about this but i'm feeling like probably many of you are feeling not something that's not yours it's the environment around you where we are in this state of of chaos energy of panic energy um So be in the role model, be the role model that you need right now. Be the role model for others and be the role model for the children. Be with your breath, be present. Don't let that fear lens take you to these false beliefs or this distorted lens of how you're seeing your environment and know that you truly are capable and able to shift your vibration and raise your vibration with how you feel and how you think. And the more calm and relaxed, centered and grounded you are, the higher vibration and the more logical and thinking your brain will be and the more rational your thoughts will be and the more you will be able to connect in with a higher perspective um, and connect in with higher self and higher knowing. And no matter what the outcome is, we'll be able to think clearer and make better decisions no matter what. So be the role model. Be the light for others.
love you.